What Did I Want to Do After the Take That Reunion, was come back with a massive solo album. I was there to witness My A&R guy introduced me to Garrett's work and the symbiotic nature of us two coming together worked straight away. More so than anything I've ever done in the past, really. Hey, ho, here she go, either a little too loud or a little too close. Got a hurricane in the back of her throat, she thinks she's made a candy. Can you turn it up? Oh, Me thanks. and the vocal. One, two, coming live at you from Stoke. We need to get three more songs done today. See, I think any artist who is going to have longevity needs to try stuff. That's the bit of Rob that I'm attracted to, is a fearlessness about being big, about connecting with people. And he was one of those artists that it's very hard to not be a fan of. Garrett's got an amazing house up in Topanga that's out the way in an awesome studio. So basically, we, we stayed out of recording studios and uh, did it at Garrett's house. Done it. Oh! Oh! I'll give you that. Okay, thank you. Well played, that was six. That was six. Yeah. I have been reluctant to go into the studio once the song's written because it's always found like a very grown up process. Having professors of pop taking care of your album, and I've sort of felt a bit redundant in those places. And um, with it being a different vibe completely, up in Topanga. When I look you in the light, something deep inside me dies. Cause I know you won't get better, better, better. You'd rather be right than be loved. The only thing I've understood, nothing's ever good enough. Yeah. Sit. Bye-bye. Okay. I brought up, I'm working with Robbie Williams, and everybody said, oh, I, you know, I'd love to play that. So, it all seemed to just happen easily. The drummer from R.E.M. plays on there. I asked him, do you want to play in this? Troy from Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, Lissy. Amazing singer. She's like Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Justin. Melville Johnson, he plays it back, and he produced the M83 record, which I love. And the Bow Brigade singing BBs. It's been very different because I think with every other record that I've done, it'd be like, okay, we need BBs, so we should ring the backing vocal people. But this was different because it's like some indie chicks from Silver Lake that, you know, probably have never done that before. Wonderful. We were going to be in Capital doing it at orchestra, so I thought when we get the orchestra from Owen Pallet, who does the arcade fire. So it made, it made it very emotional. You have Rob sing it. It was really quite special. They are vegetarian sausages. Are they? Yeah. That's how my brain worked. I thought, oh, weed cookies. <laughs> <laughs> The album is called Take the Crown because I want to fight. I want to translate to people that I want to be doing this, I, I love this job and I'll fight for it. It's, yeah, come on, fucking let's have it. Who wants it? I, I'm ready for this fight.